were you guys with bloopers? Are there any particular moments that you couldn't stop laughing at? At one point they went, I'm walking down the beach with Lily and it's meant to be very romantic just before we had a kiss. They were like, oh, and maybe you could just pick Lily up. And they meant like that. And I thought, clearly fireman's carry. So I just hoiked her over my shoulder and then fell over on my face. Oh, no. Yeah, that's there somewhere. Maybe that'll be in the DVD extras. <laughs> no doubt. Did you have to retake that scene a couple of times then? No, they've used that shot, but they've cut just before I hoik her over my shoulder and fall over like oh. a... Pratt. Well, I had one which I wasn't actually laughing in, but it made everyone else absolutely cry because it just looked so stupid, which there's a bit in Waterloo where I had to try and disappear from behind a big sort of sheet flag thing as they put it down and I kept mm. not doing it in time. So the thing would drop and I was just sort of falling through, <laughs> falling through the air horizontal and it just looked... It just looked terrible and everyone was just sort of laughing at me for quite a long time. You didn't learn how to do it, you just kept doing it wrong. I, I never, never learn anything. I'm like a, <laughs> I'm like a goldfish, I just sort of get worse. Yeah. yeah, mine's a little bit uh, obscene actually, because there's, if you remember... <laughs> I know exactly there's some what you're bits where I have to swim, well, Lily and oh, I have yeah. to swim. <laughs> and uh, I also happened to be wearing incredibly short little swimming trunks. I was doing breaststroke, so my legs were akimbo. And, uh, Kimber, uh, uh, who are you? After doing it a couple of times, old Parker sort of on a megaphone was like, we have to retake that shot because, and I can't repeat what he said, but basically I revealed too much of myself uh, mm. swimming, which was quite embarrassing. So I think, I think we had to like tape my shorts down. This quite is good, you're really selling the DVD now. I know, this is great. <laughs> so what you're saying is Mamma Mia 2 had some inappropriate flashing going on. It, 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 it should it be a, uh, rated 18. Yeah. Was it an empty beach or was it at the time that there were quite a lot of tourists that Maybe there were probably some thought? people, it was underwater, thank, thank God, uh, but there were quite a few people. There's, there's an octopus, there's a lot of, there's a lot of crew around, isn't there? <laughs> she's very embarrassing. No, she's seen too much. I think she's seen, she's... <laughs> she would have seen, yeah, yours and, yeah, a few from us, me getting changed. In. Anyway, no, this is now we're going too much. I heard from the guys, there was a scene where you got lifted in a fireman's pool mm. and dropped, and oh. I... I also heard there were very short shorts being worn and there may have been some inappropriate flashing by accident underwater. Is this true, Lily? <laughs> what? So what with, with, um, with Josh? Josh. <laughs> so um, there's three things actually. There was one, yes, Josh, uh, Jeremy, we were told to sort of like have fun and be romantic and Jeremy went to pick me up and literally dropped me. It was so <laughs> I remember that. demoralising. Believe it's on camera. It, it is on camera. <laughs> Josh, yeah, he had tight, tiny, we were swimming for oysters or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And there was also a scene, Jeremy is a big prankster, and he got a really legit new added scene sent to my trailer in the morning and Hughes. Oh my gosh. And right. had created, in the bed scene where I'm lying with Harry, had created a scene where it started Much with Harry under the covers. Explicit. Um, <laughs> and me going, oh, oh, that's it. And ah! we genuinely thought that that was a new scene that we were going to have to do, and Jeremy had just... Yeah. Oh, so he literally typed mm -hmm. an up or, oh, or put it had a name on it. Yeah. He got the director involved. I mean, we were seconds away from actually acting out yeah. a, which is yeah. so inappropriate for a PG thirteen. I know. <laughs> and you guys went along. Oh god. This is definitely a smuttier version of Mamma Mia. Yeah, very smutty. <laughs> so, did you talk about it before being like, how are we going to do this? It's a bit awkward. Yeah, we were kind of. I mean, we didn't sort someone text the director and he was like, absolutely not. Yeah, we sort of knew, like. I kind of was like, this is obviously not going to happen, but it was. It was very weird. And then, um, yeah, that was Jeremy for you. <laughs> you've almost been in a really smutty scene mm -hmm. and you've been accidentally flashed mm. as well and dropped. Mm. What was the worst of the three? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was the best of the I three? Mean, what was the best? Yeah, I mean, some, some of those aren't that bad. No. <laughs> so, are there any particular moments that you couldn't stop laughing in? Oh, all you know the what? Time. A lot when we did our EPK stuff, for the most part, we oh just had to be God. like, "Come see Mamma Mia in theaters, July 20th." We, when it was, we were the three of us were paired together. Alexa, who's not here, Emily and I, and we could not. We just like you get going, children. you get giggly, and yeah, these these poor guys had to. <laughs> yeah, you guys got the worst brunt of that. It was, I know. and then you, you do that thing where you try and think of something really bad, and you're like, oh, so and so's died, and then so and so is super <laughs> serious, but then you just burst up laughing. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> super Trooper was awesome, and it seemed like everyone was in it. What's the reality like? Yeah, there was nuts. almost no rehearsal for that. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, no, 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 no. For us, lot, we kind of showed up, and they said. <laughs> go off and come up with a dance with your counterpart. Yeah, yeah, so for yeah. me, me and Pierce, whatever, and then we sort of had 15 minutes and they came back and went, let's see it. And we'd obviously just done right. a terrible job. It's so embarrassing because the girls were amazing Unbelievable. This. They paired yeah. off within a minute and a half, amazing choreography, like beautiful. Yeah. Julian and Alexa. So good. And yeah. then we were just... 
I mean, I think I speak on behalf of all. We were just pathetic messes, like sort yeah. of trying to keep in time and just looking weird. Definition of dad dancing. <laughs> so who takes charge? Do you guys teach the older dance, or do they teach you? Josh and... really took the lead with Stellan, and in fact, when I they came back to... after devising, Stellan was very was sweating. sad and quiet, and he's such a confident man normally. And <laughs> you know, Josh obviously was. You I know, his leg warmers, his shorts, because I know, counting out the beat. I know the potential. Stella was just dancing yeah. behind, going, I'm sorry, Josh. Yeah. And I'm sure I can remember Colin Firth doing a bit of this or something, feeling very, he just looked like he didn't want to be doing it. Well, he decided in the Super Trooper bit, he, when we all got paired off to go and do it, he was like, I just don't think we should dance. I think we should just look at each other and be like, oh my God, it's me, but it's a different age. And then we tried to do it on the day, all the director was shouting, no, 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 Hugh, you're just going to have to dance at him. Yeah, that was... Very degrading, yeah. <laughs> Very degrading. It was awesome in reality as well as in actuality. Yeah, <laughs> it was surreal. But when we rehearsed it, I remember we'd just gotten back from Croatia. I think it was like two days after we got back from Croatia that weekend, we had rehearsal with the Legacy cast that we called them. And Cher, that, no, Cher hadn't no, arrived Cher yet. No, Cher doesn't go to rehearsal. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> no, <wasn't> <laughs> no, yeah, she wasn't there yet. Mm -hmm. And it was, and uh, Meryl wasn't we were there. learning the day. We knew it was going to be something special. And I think when the day came, we all had the costumes on and the lights and the, the pyrotechnics mm. and the glitter. And then out comes Cher and just is like everything you want. And everything like the queen you want, yeah. Of everything. And like everyone came to watch it. it. Yeah. And then you look up, and then there's like Meryl Streep, like with fireworks coming out from her head, like dancing with Judy yeah. and Christine, and it was like a full circle of seeing them up there, and then we were doing our little bit. And, it and was the just... dads had their name embroidered on the back of their pants <laughs> in spandex, which I don't know if they can catch it in the movie in the in, in Super Troop, but they have like yeah, Bill and Harry. And also, they were like just yeah. improvise with your counterpart because we all danced together, and I was like. So we can't, yeah, yeah. That's what I can't dance improvise unless I'm drunk in a club. And secondly, <laughs> with Meryl Streep. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Can you tell me what your favourite deleted scene might be in the extras? I'm excited to see. I wonder which was the. It was cut from um, the beginning of the film when uh, when we're sending Donna off on her big adventure. It's a number. It was a song that we. Packing up her stuff, taking it, you know, through the Oxford streets at the airport. Uh, now it's a montage, which you see. So that'll be fun to watch that and see and remember, you know, remember bits and pieces from when we shot that. And I'm ex actually excited to see if there's anything from what the legend cast did that we didn't get to see. The legend cast. That <laughs> Is that what you call them? The, the legend legacy cast. Well, the legacy cast, but they basically are the legend they cast. Are the They're legend all legends. Cast. There's a song that Lily does that's, I think, on the DVD, isn't it? Is it um, I Wonder? That back oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is one of my favourite songs, actually. Is she doing I'd love to sing it for you, but I will I'd be doing Lily James a severe injustice. Please, no. the floor is yours. <laughs> Don't you dare. It's and it's a beautiful song, all about she leaves university, doesn't she, and she goes off to Paris. And she yes, if we set, really set the scene, would it encourage you to sing it? Mm, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so she's I packing her bags. Though. No. She's <laughs> packing <laughs> her bags and she's... Are you guys up for Mamma Mia 3, a sequel? Yeah. Three to nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go. I'll do three to nine. I think I'll probably call it a day at ten. I'll yeah, do, I'll do ten. Nine. But mm. you guys don't have to. We're still negotiating that, yeah. yeah. What do you see happening next? I'd like With... the goat to have a spin-off. Um, I thought the goat in this movie was did something really quite extraordinary, actually. I had a beautiful, nuanced, detailed performance that I think we can all admire. Um, and I'd like to see him get a sequel. Mm. So it could be Mamma Mia 3, here we goat again. Oh, Ooh, very good yeah, snap. Fantastic. Yes. Holy smokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> MTV, coin the phrase. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Why not? We'll keep the party going. Christine said that when she heard about Mamma Mia 2, she didn't even read the script. She just said yes. That's right. She just signed on. I was talking to the guys and they wanted to bring the goat back. I said, Mamma Mia, here we go again. Oh my God, that's so Stop good. It. Would you be up for a sequel with the goat? Yes, and of course. Absolutely. The goat was the star of the show. I know, I agree. Shares in it, for example. If you could pick any celebrity, who would you like? to go into another sequel. Probably like some of the contestants from Love Island. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. Give, them a, give them a chance. Brilliant. Give them a chance. Please can we get Meg in the sequel? <laughs> Something like that. We're big Love Island fans, so Meg, is there anyone else that someone a love interest? Are we going with Wes or No, there was a big no. rumour going around at our premiere that EL was there and I think my little brother was more excited to try and was, hunt down yeah. EL than he was by no, Tom. So was I. I Tom. went hunting for EL. I <laughs> couldn't find him anywhere. It culminated in Richard Curtis standing on a chair and just <laughs> shouting at the top of his voice. Yeah It genuinely did. It's actually not a lie, man. <laughs> There's no young Cher yet, so maybe one of the Love Island cast could play the younger oh, Cher. Which one? We'll just chuck a wig on Hugh. I'd love to, I'd love love to do that. I'd yeah. be too old by the time we make that, though. Mm -hmm. Meg. We must. 
I remember yeah. someone doing E.L. impressions, I remember that me as well. E.L., I've never met you, I'm sorry if, if this is deeply offensive, but... Sorry, E.L., and was there any, like, bonding karaoke or rap battles? Because you guys are all singers. We did a lot of group chanting. Group chanting. Mm. And sort of uh, humming. Humming, I mean, we're all, yeah. I kind of pride myself on my rapping skills, to be honest. Can you do a bit now or some chanting? Well, no, because I, I actually don't take it as a joke. I take it very seriously. You, like I'll, I'll lay down a bit if you want to speak. Jeremy's got a single. I've told you it's not something I take as a joke. I take it very seriously. This is actually something I would like to make a career out of. Sorry, okay. Jeremy. I don't, sorry, want, Jeremy. I don't want to take this out of it in hey, an interview, all right? I'm sorry. So just, sorry. All right, mate. You're just, amazing. You know. I love you. Well, I'll take some chanting. You guys have done chanting. <laughs> is this my, yeah. like, Abba Fiend chanting or mm, what's Sometimes. That's just humming, mate. That's just, that's that one. We're going to open up into it. Right, <laughs> so we've respected your rap, chance, Jeremy. Jeremy. We're trying to hum and chant. Sorry, We're just I? trying to, you know, be creative and let them flow. I feel like we're blocking it. It's useless. The guy said Love Island cast, uh, and they want to bring E out. Of course they did. Yeah, of course they did. I'd that's love right. any of the Love Island cast. Um, um, I, do you know who I would love to see in Mamma Mia? Goldie Horn. <gasps> have a death become for <laughs> That's so cool. Get Bruce Willis involved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the goat. We're basically just going to do Death Becomes Her 2 slash Mamma Mia 3. Oh yeah, were they all, uh, we're all dead when we come back as ghosts. We're all dead. We're all dead. No, yeah. I know. All of us from all the different like ages come together in an alternate reality where, where the goat is God. And, and we just all kind of... Mamma Mia, here we go again. And the guys said there's about chanting and humming that they do, so maybe there could be some chanting around Did the goat. Did they chant and hum for you? Yeah, a little oh, bit. Oh, good lord. Did they sing to you, What Shall We Do With a Drunken Sailor? No, Three Part Harmony. Three Part Harmony. It's their favourite song in the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>